Welcome to the tutorial on adding resources in Freeplane. In this tutorial, we will learn to insert an attribute feature to a node, create a hyperlink in the map, add an image and attach a file, learn about export options and export to the map in XHTML format. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, Freeplane 1.7.10 and Firefox Web Browser 75. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the basics of Freeplane. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and use them while practicing. Go to desktop. I have saved the input file on the desktop. Double click on the map icon to open it. The map opens in free plane. Click on navigate, fold. Unfold all to unfold and show all the nodes. We can add multiple feature attributes to a node in Freeplane. Select sustenance and click on edit node properties. From the submenu, choose add attribute in dialog. I will add the NCERT textbook hyperlink for the chapter link here. For attribute name, I will type epartshala. For attribute value, I will add the web address for the textbook chapter. I had already obtained the address by web search. Copy and paste the web address in the attribute value field. Click on the OK button to add an attribute. Notice a small square next to the sustenance node. This indicates that an attribute is present for the node. We can add more than one feature or attribute to any node. Select from choices in view, node attributes in show or hide attributes. Now choose to show all the attributes. First zoom in on the sustenance node for clear view. Many nodes can be formatted together to obtain same properties. Select the desired nodes with shift key and apply the formatting. Similar to nodes, attributes can also be edited in line. Place the cursor anywhere on the existing attribute and right click. The context menu opens. The context menu can also add new attribute. Select a new attribute. This will add a new two column attribute below the existing one. A new row will appear prompting the user to enter details. I will leave it as is and not add another attribute now. Since it is unused, click anywhere on the map to remove it. Let's attach an image as learning resource to the map. For water cycle. Select the water cycle node. Right click to open the context menu and choose the add image option. A dialog box opens. Navigate to desktop directory. I have downloaded a free to share and use image from USGS website for study. It is saved in my desktop directory. Choose the watercycle.png file and click on open. The image is attached below the node text. It is a visual representation of water cycle. To resize the image, hover the mouse over the image near the corner. Cursor changes to a half square and arrow sign. Left click. Hold and drag to resize the image to your preference.
Next, I want to attach a hyperlink about carbon cycle as reading material. Hyperlinks can link to web pages, email addresses, local files or other nodes. Select the carbon cycle node. Press the control and K keys together. Type the web link in the dialog box as seen here. Copy and paste the web address. Click on the OK button. This is an inline addition of hyperlink. An arrow appears next to the node indicating presence of hyperlink. Let's attach a study file to the water node. For this, first choose water node. Right click to open the context menu. Choose edit node core in dialog. Highlight water text and click on edit add hyperlink choose option. A dialog box opens. Here I will choose a PDF file of a water plan document. It is saved in my desktop directory. I had earlier downloaded the document from the internet. For practice, you may choose any file of your choice. Click on open. The node text turns blue and gets underlined, indicating hyperlink or attachment. Click on the OK button and close the dialog box. Next, save the map by pressing Ctrl S. We require a different form of the map for ease of share and distribution. For this purpose, click on File, Export Map. A dialog box appears. Click on File Subtype drop-down. Notice the various file options for users to choose from. HTML, Tech, JPEG image, PDF and Java applet are few of the popular file formats. In the HTML format, the map will appear arranged as a listed file. There is also an image option to export an image of the map. However, hyperlinks and attachments do not get exported in an image. PDF is another popular option for export. To export the file into XHTML, choose the XHTML option. I will choose the XHTML type of file. XHTML gives a clickable map image of the map. Type the file name as addingresources.html in the desktop directory. Click on Save. Let's quit FreePlane. Click on File Quit FreePlane to exit FreePlane. Let's go to Desktop. Notice the newly created XHTML form of the map. I will open it in a web browser. Let's scroll down the page. Click on the carbon cycle link. The hyperlink opens. Let's go back to the exported file. Click on the back button to go back to the exported file. I will close the web browser. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we added attribute feature to the node, added hyperlink in the map, attached a document and image to the map, learned about export options and exported the map to XHTML format. For assignment activity, please do the following. Using a relevant study chapter in your curriculum, Create a concept map for a concept or chapter from a textbook chapter of your choice. Add learning resources, share, get feedback and improve the map. This summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. 
This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.